we have to start with some empty glass tanks and some wood and the first step is to secure the large pieces with some silicone let it cure overnight and then start to do the rest so the vision that i have is this oh focus the center piece of wood this is quite tall like half of the tank and it is pretty heavy but this isn't all we're going to include this one and I thought about it like something like this then we have a gap there that you know you can go through and this little piece to bring something in the front like so it doesn't have to go that further so but like this so I siliconed the big piece of wood in also put a bit of expanding foam down there and under the wood where I can get so I foamed anything down we did this wood piece because it bent the glass because of all the pressure the foam made down there pushed into there but yeah now anything is rock solid I don't peel the foam out because I will cover the foam completely with hygrolon it will not be pretty for the eye at the start but when anything is grown in it will look nice okay I changed my mind I will cover this part and in front of here and a little bit on top so it doesn't look so odd at the beginning and a little bit here uh, yes uh, like you can see I got a little bit carried away and nearly anything is finished <laughs> yeah but we got the wood I covered anything with some tree fern basically yeah tree tree fern and don't cover these parts with hygrolon but I covered the walls unfortunately they were a little bit too short so I had to cut another thing but this will nearly covered all by the by the substrate but I don't want to have a gap here where light can go through I will show you how I built the substrate and the drainage but for that we have to move the shelf onto its final position where this shelf is and we are finished but I won't show you the whole uh, new shelf but I show you that the terrarium is on its final place for now at least and the next step is the substrate and the drainage but before we do that on the terrarium itself we will do something about the new lighting I decided for three skylight tiny HR I wanted to have the higher color rating ones but they are spots and I don't really need spots uh, yeah I didn't open them they are lying here for I think four days now yeah then let's try pretty interested in how they actually look and feel this looks like the installation guide which we don't need because it's self-explaining 
yeah, features like they are on the websites. Yeah, we don't really need those. Then we have the lamp itself. Oh, it's pretty heavy for this little piece. It says skylight. And I think those are the legs. I don't really know how to... do this but and then you can angle it when the connector isn't in the way a little bit or we just need to put the other one and it's straight yeah I ordered a kit with three and on the website there was a little extension cord I don't know if this is included if you buy it from Skylight Direct because they are just out of the box not packed or anything they were just lying with all the other stuff and then there's the power supply I will yes so open the seal oh I need a knife so check Yeah, just the power brick. Oh, this power brick is lighter than the lamp itself. <laughs> okay, there doesn't have to be much stuff in there. Because they are tiny lamps. So I will connect anything up and then we will try. I will plug anything in and then we try how bright these are. So I plugged all three in. Like you can see with this nice one, two, three. And the last thing we have to do is to plug it into the connector from the power brick. And as you can see or cannot see, because I can't see anything, it is pretty bright. I saw there is a red LED in there. Uh, yeah, they give a nice cool light Or not cool light uh, natural daylight On the camera. It's a bit reddish if we go too far away But yeah, they feel pretty Solid pretty nice Okay Then put them onto the terrarium. I think Yes, I think the lighting looks awesome Oh, this is a more natural look how it's in person. When I go away, it's getting a bit too bright because I think the camera is correcting these. But yeah, as you can see, the foam is in. Now we prepare the substrate mix. And then it's ready for some plants. Yeah, yes, you can see the... Lighting is a lot different. Whoa, focus. In purse, as on the camera, from this angle, I think this looks nicer than this. But in person, this is much brighter than this. This looks like there isn't even a light on. And this is what we're using for our substrate. Active, activate carbon. Oh, pretty much charcoal, lava rock, some soil, and some fermicode. Don't know if you know what this is. This is mostly used to hatch eggs. Pretty light, pretty cheap, and I like the look a lot more than perlite. The white stuff that are often used in... Uh, plant substrates yeah then let's mix it up so we got a bit of the plant soil this is I don't know if you know what this is this is lot often used in aquascaping or for aquarium plants this is just normal soil 
I think it's side or so, I don't know. But if you, there's a big one, you can see this is just some dirt, but because it's into these forms, this doesn't stick to the frogs and a substrate is pretty, how do you say, airy or a lot of air can go into the substrate. This is super nice. Yeah, let's put the other stuff in. So, the lava rock. I think I will go with half a bag of these activated charcoal. A little bit more. Yeah, this will do it. So, now we mix anything up and then I will add as I think we need more. I think this is the kind of texture we are going for, but I found the same stuff that I have in black in reddish. I used it many years before. There is a lot of clay in there, so I think this is a pretty nice mixture. Yeah, I think that's done. This looks a bit like it's being used in a desert type terrarium or stuff. But the but the black and brown soil will store a lot of humidity in water. And the other stuff can let air through. So we don't get a problem with uh, rotting roots or something. So now the major hardscape and build is finished. When the plants are getting in, I will make a small amount of the black soil on top, so it doesn't look so so rocky. Uh, but there will be a big leaf litter on top of it as well, so there isn't really needed. But I like it better. I angled it a bit up in the bag, as you can see, so to give it a little bit more depth. But yeah, we will start planting. I will put some bromeliads in there for now and then I will order some new plants and moss and then we have to keep the terrarium running for I think two or three weeks and then we will looking for some new frogs. And in the end I will think we will go for something like this. This bromeliad, oh there's a lot of reflection, will be getting in there as well. <clears throat> but for the final planting I will do another video. Because this will take, I think, four to five days before the plants will arrive. When I order today. I water the substrate and it's getting a lot darker now. So this looks a lot nicer. Uh, yeah, this will be the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.